Hi guys, um, I'm a day late, it's the 2nd of November but I haven't done any videos or done any setting up due to the fact that I've hurt my back and sitting here at my desk has been quite painful. So what we're going to do is we are going to get set up but I'm just, I'm going to hyperlapse it and then do a voiceover, it, which just means that I can stop it when I need to and go and move about and take a rest and whatever, so it's probably going to take me all day. <laughs> so excuse the state of my nails, I'm waiting to have them done because um, they're a right state and I can't be bothered with them so yes I've done the calendar this is all I've done so far right I did the calendar on my live um, last Wednesday so that is set up and ready to go I have yesterday sketched a um, cover page for it and everything is penciled in and ready to go because I'd already set up week 44 so I, I need to fill in all the bits before all the trackers and that that have already started I have also in my junk section well, I can find it um, this is a postcard I received off post crossings and I've made this like little flip type thing, which is the other side of this page, basically. It's just a bit of wallpaper. And I made that last night. And it took me an hour to make that, and I was in agony by the end of it, which is, you know, why I say I might have to go and have a break. But anyway, that's there. So, yeah. Pardon me, I've got hiccups. So, we're going to get started on this. I'm going to hyperlapse you, and I will voice over. I'm going to put a video on to watch while I do it. Have fun. So I'm starting off with my cover page and here I'm just putting in the word November in this sort of outlined font. I based this on brush lettering really and then I just sketched it out however I wanted. I decided that I was going to do a theme and that it would be leaves so I just referenced off of um, Google Images. I don't use Pinterest, I can't stand Pinterest so yeah Google Images for everything for me and drew them out and I'm um, quite pleased how they turned out. I did consider doing more and then I thought you know what keep it simple and uh, across the top I added some washi that's got like autumn leaves on it or fall leaves if you live in the states and then I pulled out my watercolours and my gouache and uh, went to town really I know you're not supposed to but yes I do end up blending on the actual paper because Tom Way holds the the paint on top of the paper for quite a while which allows you to do that and I didn't really know sort of where I was going with it and I quite like how it came out but it got quite wet and I was worried about the ink coming through so I did pull my heat gun out just to try and keep on top of it all. I apologise that my head's in the way, this is something I have real problems with, it's annoying and I hate that I do it because this leaf looked really pretty while I was doing it, just the yellows and the reds blended really really nicely. I then chose a blue for the lettering simply because it matched the blue in the washi above and I couldn't really think what other, other colour to use. I didn't want to use browns because it would have meant too much brown I didn't want to use reds or greens and I didn't want to use black because I thought black was too harsh so yeah. That was just me looking at the internet quick and then I thought well, my calendar's a bit plain so I pulled out a couple of me, me brand new washi drawers and um, I was going to use one but it was a bit too wide so I ended up using this one. It's got a little bit of plant in it. And then I start on my square tracker. I've done videos about this, I've explained it in lives. I can't explain it again, I have no, no idea how to explain it again. I just, it's something I designed one day while after seeing a picture of it and I worked out how it would fit and I went from there. I use an M size pit artist pen to do the four corner diagonal lines that you saw me draw first and the inside and outside horizontal lines and then I switch to a small size pit artist pen to do all the other lines. It's a bit of a trial because the pen's trying to die on me and it's very annoying. And then I literally I just put in my columns evenly spaced and then my um, other lines basically go through the dots 
and they join up at the um, diagonal lines that I've done. And, and that's it. And then I chose this washi to go down the sides just to pretty it up a little bit. Number all the way round and then add in my chores or the things that I like to track on this one. This is my card a day spread. This is a very, very simple spread. I just have two lines a day and I pull a tarot card every day and that just then goes on here really. It's very simple. I chose pretty celestial type uh, washi to go across the top. I know it doesn't match the whole leaves theme but I wanted something, you know, pretty and celestial and mysterious. <laughs> Then I, um, I took a quick break and when I came back I found this um, thing of poppies so I cut it out and stuck it on the front page because November is has Remembrance Sunday in which is when we remember our war veterans. This is my about me page, that stencils from Ipsa Daisy, I don't recommend it, it's thin, it's crap, it's it's not survived being, I've only used it about five or six times and it's already fallen to pieces, it's too thin. Um, all I do is I measure certain parts of my body <laughs> and uh, write down what they are. Now I also record my BMI and my size. This is my mood and my pain tracker. The, <laughs> the um, top one is my mood and the bottom one is my pain. I love this washi. I think this is one Wendy sent me. It's all like all leaves throughout the seasons which I really really liked. This is my sleep tracker and on this one I just basically record how many hours I get according to my Fitbit and how good I feel as to regards to how great is my sleep. Uh, the steps tracker I use my Fitbit to record that and that's pretty much it. Easy as that. Everything is of course colour coded and there's videos about that as well. This is the one that takes the time. This is the chores tracker. And this is probably my most useful tracker, but it takes ages to do. It really does. It's just basically because I write it all out every single time, but I can't come up with a tracker that's as, as, as useful to me as this one is, that is quicker to draw. It's just, that's just the way it comes out. <laughs> it just takes a while to draw it. And then you've got to write down all that. It's, my ruler was giving me trouble, so I used a wipe on it. Um, I didn't realise I was so far over in the shot. And then you sort of write in all your dates. And then you've got to write in all the chores. That's what takes all the time. It's tedious. But it's proven very successful. I know a couple of people have copied it. Um, a couple of people even bought the PDF version of it from me, which I'm ever so grateful for. And uh, yeah, some people really, really like it. Now I'm just pulling out my Kelly Creates brush pens and I'm using a different colour to write each header, really. Jaws monthly and then the days of the week. Okay, there we go. Um, right, so to start off with, I did um, November in a, I don't really know what you call that, that style. I did some leaves, I did a combination of watercolour and gouache, and I stuck some leafy washi across the top. I used the same or similar colour in blue to just to pull this into it more. A little bit later on, you see me flick back because I found this poppy on the cover of a uh, we call it household mail, junk mail that comes through the door, um, not actually addressed to anybody, it gets delivered to everybody's house and of course um, November for us here in the UK is Remembrance Month so um, yeah I stuck that in here as well and I'll try and remember to do poppies 
when the 11th and the 11th comes around so that's that my monthly I'd already done I just added a strip of washi down here just to fill it up really um, I did have another one which had more flowers and stuff on it but it was too wide ah by just a little bit which is frustrating as hell but there we go um, this is my chore tracker now I do remember saying to myself a few weeks ago oh I could add that to my chore tracker instead of putting it somewhere else but I couldn't remember what it was and I couldn't bother to go back through my videos this is the only one where I didn't use leaves or autumn but the colour matches so that's that's why I went with that that's simply that's it card of the day again I didn't use a, oh I didn't trim that one I didn't use a autumn awesome wash I used a what I call a an appropriate style one because it's mystical and all that lot you know and this is just my tarot cards left myself room there so I can put my colour coding up for my cards this is my about me spread um, I've weighed myself so I've just got to record my weight and then I'll just do all the rest of it later on my mood and my pain trackers here um, <laughs> my mood stems from awesome down to fuck off and agony down to none haha <laughs> yeah right because you know that just doesn't happen then I've got my sleep and my steps trackers. They are just standard normal. I do these every month. I'm going to grab my scissors and just trim off the corner here. This is my chore tracker. Um, and what I would do is just trim this corner off as well. And uh, yeah, that again has not changed really. Um, it's all pretty much for muchness. Um, I love the different colours of uh, Kelly Creates pens. I must get some Tombow ones as well, just that I've got more brush pens to play with. Um, the issue I have with the Kelly Creates ones is that they, they are very juicy, you know, so they do tend to sometimes bleed through. I, mean, I know it does anyway because it's Tombow River paper, but you know. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. I've left myself a um, piece of paper here. This is going to be... An Instagram tracker but I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with it just yet so I'll probably show you that later <laughs> when I figure out how, how I want to do it I think I know but I'm just like oh. I've got some ideas I just need to sketch it out a little bit more so there you go I hope you liked this um, I haven't left myself any notes pages so let's hope I don't need any eh? <laughs> yeah so I think across here I've probably got, you know, um, let's see. So there you go, it's got some washing on it. Um, yeah, basically the idea is, is that I need to have a bit more of a presence on Instagram because, you know, there's so many things I could be posting that I'm not. So I want to sort of give myself a list, you know, like this week new, last week finished um my trackers throughout the month last month's trackers you know i got i must admit i stole the idea off of jessie corin <laughs> but you know that's what you're doing it so there we go um right i'm gonna leave it there and um yeah any comments or questions please feel free to leave them down below you know the rules or the you know you know the procedure um sorry about the creepy chair <laughs> um yeah Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You know that I really appreciate you joining me as often as you can. And um, if you haven't already, do click that book and subscribe and then the bell that here is down below and you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so, 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 so much. I really do appreciate it. I will see you in my next edition of Today in My Boo Journal, whenever that will be. I don't know when my back's better, okay? Thanks very much for joining me today. Take it easy, guys.